Okay, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, it is a good morning. It's a little cloudy out here this morning. But hey, other than that, it's a fantastic morning. I just went to go check to see if the seal is still intact and all of that stuff. So uh, now we're gonna go inside and wash our face a little bit and all that good stuff. So, uh, so yeah, let's get our day started. Once we got that taken care of, we'll uh, go back and do our logbook and all that good stuff and then we'll make our way towards our delivery. So uh, let's get our day started. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. finished cleaning our windshield and all that good stuff our mirrors and all of that fun stuff so here we go we're gonna go ahead and get out of here time to go make our delivery all right I guess this guy wants to get out before me he doesn't even really look this way but whatever he's a local guy so he's always in a hurry but yeah, here we go, we're gonna get out of this truck stop and then uh, we'll have to go make our delivery. Yeah, we got about two hours worth of driving to do and uh, it's 10 o'clock right now so uh, our appointment is at 12.30 so we should get there by 12 o'clock so that's still half an hour early. So that way we have a little leeway if there's all of a sudden some kind of slowdown or something like that. That way we're still a-okay, right? That's the plan anyway, so uh, let's make our way down to our delivery, guys. It is a little cloudy today, which I suspected it was going to happen. I've been saying that for the last few days that uh, at home they were getting hammered there with rain, so uh, we knew that it was coming this way, right? <laughs> I, I at least did. It always goes east, it always does. I've never seen it any other direction other than it always goes northeast, southeast, uh, straight east, you know? It always goes east. <laughs> yeah. Any kind of weather system always seems to be going east. I don't know why that is, but that's the way it is. I'm not a weather, weather uh, scientist or whatever you want to call it, so I don't know. Or, sci or weather export, expert. But yeah, look at them beautiful hills that we got up here, guys. Isn't that gorgeous or what? I think they are. But yeah, we are very close to the Massachusetts state line. Basically right there by the next bridge there or whatever, you're gonna see the actual uh, border crossing to Massachusetts. Yeah. Good thing I know about that truck stop there now, you know? Like I never knew about that truck stop there before. So uh, it's good to keep in mind, brand new loves there, so that's awesome. But anyways, let's make our way down to Massachusetts to our delivery. Isn't this gorgeous or what, guys? Look at this, like going right between these hills up here, and beautiful green trees and all of that, you know, green grass over there, you know. Absolutely gorgeous in my opinion anyways. And we gotta enjoy it right now while it lasts, right? Because uh, not very much longer and uh, we are gonna start seeing some snow. I already heard yesterday evening that uh, up in Montana, I think it was the uh, US-212 was shut down already because of snowstorm up there yesterday and it's like September 5th you know like I can't believe it it's been really cold already early this year up there further west I know even JP has been talking about it like up in Calgary I mean a couple of days ago in the morning it was only five degrees Celsius which is like right
right there close to the freezing point, you know. Like, I can't believe how early it's starting to cool off already. So, uh, so you better enjoy it while it lasts, guys, because uh, it, ain't, it ain't gonna last very much longer. I guarantee you that. Very soon, these leaves are gonna fall off, and everything is gonna look like it's dead, and then we'll get snow. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I just figured I'd show you a little bit again. I still haven't gotten a reload yet, so I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing after we deliver this load, but I guess we'll find out later, right? I sure hope we're going to get something here. I hope, I really hope we don't have to sit there and wait and wait. Don't know what we're going to get and all that kind of stuff, you know? But yeah. Stockbridge, Massachusetts, I would imagine, is coming up just around the corner, I guess. But yeah, look at them big hills up in the background there. You could almost say they're mountains, you know. But they're pretty big already. I mean, they're not as big as BC yet, but they're fairly big already, that's for sure. And yeah, that's what I figured, you know. I'm going to show you some beautiful sceneries up here. That's my goal anyways. I'm hoping the camera is doing justice on it. That's right. Here we go guys. We are just leaving our place of delivery. And yeah, this is the little town of Clinton, Massachusetts. That's right. We got a little bit of a river up here to the right. And now we got us a reload already. That's correct. Sure do. I love it. Although we can only pick up that load tomorrow at 9 a.m., which is 8 a.m. our time, so that's not too bad. You see that up to the right there? Yeah, all kinds of water up there. Past that dam over there, there's actually a big lake up there. They got that lake kind of blocked off there by that dam. So, yeah. You guys are probably curious on where we're going, right? Well, if you guys uh, ever want to know exactly where we're heading and where we are, I keep updating my website. I hope you guys are going to go out there and check it out because that's up-to-date information. Like when I was sitting in the dock there, I just got my reload. Right away, I went on the internet and updated my, uh, my website there. But yeah, look at this. Now we're seeing the lake. All the way here on the top is where that lake is actually at. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? I think so. And it has been kind of drizzling on and off all day long, so it's kind of cloudy and drizzly all day. But yeah, I know this is going to be old news by the time you watch it, but no matter what, I'm sure you could use the prayers. Our friend Angelo that we met up with, uh, about a week ago, I guess, by the time you watch this, or just over a week ago, he uh, got into an accident. I don't have much details as of yet, but we'll uh, have to keep him in our prayers. That's really sad to see. He just started with a new company and everything and got himself into a bad accident, so that's not good. Apparently he got rear-ended, so, uh, but that's about the only information that I have that he's in the hospital. I tried to get a hold of him, but you know how it is when he's in the hospital, he ain't going to be able to answer his phone, right? Especially if he's in a surgery room or something like that, I don't know if he's getting surgery or how badly his injuries are, I don't know all of that information, but yeah. That's sad. Accidents do happen. We all know that. And it's worse when it happens to a friend of ours, right? I mean, you guys have seen that on my channel, you know. I've shown you guys plenty of accidents out here. Most of the times it's people not paying attention, you know. And uh, that's when accidents happen. I mean, we do have drunks out here. They are more dangerous than anybody, but 
are just as dangerous as somebody not paying attention, I guess. But yeah, that's sad to see. But anyways, we'll continue on our way to our reload. We'll get out of that subject. We'll move on. We're happy we got us a reload. So uh, yeah, here we are, guys. We're still giving her. Yeah. I haven't really videotaped too much, I guess, today, but hey, we're still working on it, that's for sure. But yeah, it looks like the sun is starting to come and peek through there a little bit, but other than that, it's just been cloudy all day long, but hey, that's the way it goes. Well, we still have 148 more miles to go till we will be at our pickup place. Don't really know if I can pick up there tonight. Uh, according to the satellite, I'm only supposed to pick up there tomorrow. So, not too sure if I'm actually going to go down there tonight or not. But the other problem I'm having is the truck stop that's right there is a very small truck stop and it's always full. So, if I'm going to go right to the town, it might not be the best idea. But then again, what I can do is I can go down there and drop my trailer and just bobtail back to the place, I guess. Or I can stay over there at the uh, at the place too. I've done that before. So that's a possibility I can do that. I got a restroom right there. I got food in the truck, so I don't really need anything. Although I wouldn't mind taking a shower today, but we could probably do that tomorrow. Well, we'll see how it goes. Just figured I'd do another clip here for you. That way you guys can uh, get a little bit of a half decent video, right? And I had my window open a little bit there earlier. Now I got a fly in my truck. That's annoying me. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, there we go. Now we got the sun peeking through. That's good. Looks like this van wants to get up to speed and get in here, so that's good. Now we don't need to slam on our brakes and let him in, right? Or her, whatever it is. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous day. Otherwise, uh, haven't had any issues. Got our load off. That didn't take too long. Website is updated and everything is good to go, so... Yeah, we're happy campers. Just cruising right on along here. From the looks of it, it looks like we're going to be going over some kind of bridge up here. So I figured, yeah, I think I have shown this bridge before. But I figured, you know what? It's been a long time since I've shown this one here. So I figured may as well uh, show you guys this one. They got a fairly big river up here. I'm on uh, I-84. So yeah, I have definitely been on this one before, but it's been a good while since I've been on this one, that's for sure. But yeah, it always amazes me how they can build a bridge like this to go over a big river or lake like they do up here in America. But yeah, the bridge is a little rough already. It looks like it's getting old, but other than that, it's just cruising right across it, right? <laughs> wow, there's a big boat up there. It looks like a yacht. Somebody's got some money. Yeah, I don't have that much money. Hamilton fish or something like that. That's what it said on there, but yeah, nice little bridge here, that's for sure. Oh yeah, as we like to say. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the way it goes. A lot of boats down there, that's for sure. But yeah, we are back in New York now. We were uh, going through Connecticut in there earlier, and then uh, now we're in New York. Oh, oh, looks like we got us a Smoky Bay up here. He's got himself a capture. Everybody's going too fast up here, you know. It's 55 speed limit up here, and this van, it just passed me like he was going like 65, 70. They're going way too fast. 
You gotta follow the speed limit and you won't get pulled over generally at least unless you got something else wrong with your vehicle but all right guys let's take a look here we got something burning up here can you believe that let's take a look we got the fire department out here trying to put the fire out oh wow there's like a honda honda civic or something like that just engulfed in flames there wow that's crazy well, at least you got the fire department out there. But anyways, I just figured I'd show you that real quick, quickly there. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually just coming up to our pickup here. And if you guys have been uh, around with my channel for a while, this is the exact hill that this last winter I was spinning out. If you guys watched my video, I talked about it. And this is the hill. It's not doesn't look very steep but don't let that fool you it is steeper than what it looks you can still see some black marks right there on the side there by the concrete there where we were touching the stuff but anyways i just wanted to show you this hill so we'll talk to you guys in a few alrighty guys i am here at my customer he's been here for a couple of hours already but uh hey you know i decided Let's go ahead and close, put my closure in for today and uh, maybe get this video edited for you guys and uh, get out of here. So uh, appreciate you guys tuning in today. That was very much appreciated. And hey, if you haven't checked out my website, go ahead and check that out. Because we're heading to Master Steak. <laughs> yeah, Master Steak, here we come. That's right. But anyways, my alarm is beeping there from my light, so they're probably going to turn off here in a little bit. So, uh, appreciate uh, everybody on my channel. Stick around for tomorrow. We got some goodies coming tomorrow. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. <laughs>